Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. What? Insomniac Games. Listen to me. Can't cancel, cancel your Wolverine game that you're making. Cancel it. Whatever abilities that you were about to give Wolverine in that single player Wolverine game, add Wolverine to Spider-Man 2, right? And give him the give him the abilities abilities that you're about to give him. So when Spider-Man 2 comes out, you can play as uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Wolverine, right? Cancel that Wolverine game. Um, you really need to focus on really making Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4. Because if, if there's one company that, that I know for sure that can make up Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4, it would be you. Because because you already have, have Spider-Man at your disposal. So why not work out a deal with Marvel to where you can make Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4. And what you're what you're doing is the instead of making a top-down view uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, the new form of Mar Marvel Ultimate Alliance is going to be the same as our Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales is or Spider-Man 2. But this time, you're going to add the entire alliance of Marvel characters to the mix and villains and then go on from there. Don't run from this. Accept it. Instead of making a single player Wolverine game, scr scrap it, cancel it, and add Wolverine to Spider-Man 2. So when people get Spider-Man 2, they have a playable character of uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and Wolverine, right? But when it comes to Marvel Ultimate Alliance now, it's going to be in the same environment as Spider-Man and Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Spider-Man 2. Where, where players pick whatever superhero they want to pick, go where they want to go, do what do what they want to do. Just like how they would in Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Spider-Man 2. And then go on from there. And then now you're going to add the entire Marvel, Marvel, Marvel Universe to that, I mean, to, to Marvel, to Marvel Ultimate, I mean, to Marvel Ultimate Alliance, uh, Alliance 4 and then the villains they can do the same thing go where they want to go do what they want to do it will be it will be the same as um like in the Superman movie with uh Henry Cavill when he was fighting all those villains and then especially when he was fighting fighting Zod and they were going all over the place that's how the new Marvel Ultimate Alliance uh, 4 should be and then Marvel Ultimate Alliance now becomes the new Marvel MMO that everybody been wanting wanting to play for so long. So and, and uh, that way people will be happy. So Insomniac, you can't run from this. This is th 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 that's this is your mission in life. It's, it's like instead of making a single player Sp uh, Wolverine game, scrap it, cancel it. Take Wolverine and add it to Spider-Man 2. But what you want to really focus on now is making a Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4 long as you get the rights from Marvel because you already have Spider-Man at your disposal and Miles Morales and Venom so why not make the new form of uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance uh, 4 it would be just like playing uh, say DC Universe and Spider-Man and Spider-Man Spider and Spider-Man Miles Morales and players can go what they want to go go where they want to go do what they want to do it won't be in a top-down view anymore it will be the same as Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales in DC Universe. And then go on from there because, I mean, Marvel um, Marvel has a lot of characters. Uh, helper characters uh, that are superheroes. And then you got you got all kind of villains and, you know, villains that got superpowers. And they can go all over the place. So, you know, if there was, if there was one company that I know for sure that could make a, a Marvel... Ultimate Alliance 4, it will be Insomniac, you know, because because of the job they did on uh, Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales, and based off the trailer that we just seen on Spider-Man 2, one had people people are now saying to themselves like, okay, if 
you're making Spider-Man games like this, then a Marvel Ultimate Alliance now, which would the Marvel Ultimate Alliance now, which would be the new MMO for Marvel Universe, and then you just add add any uh, superheroes and villains you want. People are people are saying like, okay, when 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 is this gonna happen? So you know, if there was one company that I know for sure that could do it, it would be you and Somniac Games. So I think you guys should take on this challenge, you know, and then go on from there. As long as you, I mean, all you gotta do is call Marvel. So if it's just one phone call and get the rights to, uh, to, to uh, I mean, to Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and then go on from there. Because instead of like just wasting your time making a super, making a Wolverine single player game, look at the look at the bigger picture. You got the entire Marvel universe at your disposal. So why not make a Marvel Ultimate Alliance like how you would do Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2? And, in, and instead of making the Wolverine game, you take Wolverine and add him to Spider-Man 2 and then focus on, on so then focus on uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4. So now you have Spider-Man 2 to deal with and Marvel Ultimate Alliance and just go on from there. Because Marvel fans are dying for an MMO, you know. I mean, um, and that way, Marvel Ultimate Alliance now becomes the new MMO for uh, for, for 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 the Marvel Universe, and it would be a great um, uh, 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 transition. Instead of doing it in a top-down view form, you would do it in the form of uh, a Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Spider-Man Two. And players can pick whatever hero or villain they want to pick and go where they want to go, do what they want to do, uh, get up, go up high rise buildings, jump, fly, whatever, you know, and, it's, and just take it from there. And, and, then, and that way, um, uh, you know, the, the Marvel, the Marvel uh, fans will have something, the Marvel fans will have something like DC Universe that they can play. So. You know, it's overdue, man. So if there's one company I know for sure that can definitely do it, it's you, Insomniac Games. Now the question becomes this. Are you ready for that challenge? Or are you going to run from it? You know, so it's a, it, it all comes down to you now because, I mean, after playing Spider-Man, I say uh, Spider-Man Spider -Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales, and the way you're going, and you go where you want to go, do what you want to do. Go up the highest building you could think of. You're, everybody's saying to themselves, like, okay, if, if we're doing this in Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales, then what about Marvel Ultimate Alliance? Why can't we do this with all the superheroes and villains that they got? And that's the question everybody's asking. So now everybody's probably looking at Insomnia Games, like, okay, you're, you're the one that can do this, you know? You're the one that can do this. Instead of instead of making a instead of in, instead of making a Wolverine game, you cancel it. Add Wolverine to Spider-Man 2, and that way it could it it could become a Spider-Man 2 uh, web of shadows. But this time you you add uh, you got Miles Morales with you. You got Wolverine, and of course Spider-Man, and then whatever villains that comes. But then when it comes to Marvel Ultimate Alliance, now we're gonna we're gonna put. All these Marvel characters in the same, like same uh, environment, like how Spider-Man got it, where they go where they want to go, do what they want to do, whatever, whether hero or villain, and you get to customize your characters and then take off from there. You know? So people, are, you know, comic book fans are like sitting there scratching their heads, like, okay, why is this not, why, why this is not happening? So we're looking at you now, like, okay, if there's one company that can definitely do it, it's you. Insomniac Games. The question is this: Are you up for the challenge, or are you gonna run from it? Just saying, you know. So it's overdue now, you know. Because um, uh, I mean, I mean, with these, I mean, with these consoles, with these consoles that we have now, and the horsepower that they're pushing, and and the graphical capabilities, a game like that now is overdue. And the Marvel Ultimate Alliance now will become the new Marvel MMO. It will be Marvel uh, Marvel Ultimate Ultimate Alliance 4. But it's really a Marvel MMO with all your Marvel characters and all your Marvel villains. 
I mean, think of it. That's that's better than making a single player Wolverine game. That is better. And I mean, a, a lot of people would love it. And not only that, it will help. Uh, it will help uh, Sony. I'm not I'm not into sales numbers, but it will definitely help Sony <laughs> push a lot of PlayStations. That's for sure. So, you know, if if there's one company that can really do it, it would be uh, Insomniac. Oh, but then again, let's not forget WB Games and Rocksteady. But then Rock WB, WB Games and Rocksteady is DC. So if when it comes but when it comes to Marvel, it has to be Insomniac Games. So they're gonna have to uh, accept this challenge, and they can't run from it. You know, they can't be they can't, they can't talk about it or dilly dally or whatever. You know, they they gotta accept this. They can't run from it no more because you know people are getting tired of people. You know, gamers are getting tired, especially comic book nerds. They are getting tired of people talking about a, a Marvel MMO, and nobody is not doing anything about it. So, common sense should tell Insomnia, like, look, why are we wasting our time with this Wolverine game when we when we really need to look at the bigger picture? Which is which is Marvel Ultimate Alliance for? Because Marvel, because Marvel Ultimate Alliance is really a Marvel MMO. Because all you're doing. It's taking all the heroes and villains and place them in a, in a um, place them in a game. So they they definitely should you know um, uh, accept this challenge and just just uh, 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 run with it. You know, since 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 I mean since they already got they already got Spider Man already. So why not? You know what I'm saying? So why not go for it? You know what I'm saying? So. I think uh, Rocksteady, I mean, not Rocksteady, but uh, Insomniac Games really need to take on this challenge, you know, really need to do this, you know, for, for I mean, for the, for the, for the video game community, because people are getting, you know, comic book nerds and people that like superheroes and watching superhero movies are getting, getting tired of, getting, getting tired of people talking about a Marvel MMO and nobody's doing nothing about it, you know, because I just seen the, um, the article, um, where they were talking about, uh, they were talking about the Marvel MMO is canceled. So I'm saying to myself, okay, if there's one company that could really do this, I mean, we we already got Rocksteady and WB, but they're they're straight DC. But if there's one company that could really do a Marvel MMO, it would be Insomniac Games. And look at the work they did on Spider-Man. Spider-Man Miles Morales. So you're sitting there looking at both games and you're like, they 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 got they, they got to do this. They got to take on this challenge. They can't run from it. You know? I mean if it's money that they're after, I mean Sony can fund them for that. Sony got money to spend. So um Insom Insomniac Games should definitely uh look into this. They really they really do. They really need to look into this, man. You can't just you can't just have a um a DC uh, DC Universe Online only out there. What about Marvel? You know, what about Marvel? So, um, Insomniac Games, man, instead of making that single player Wolverine game, scrap it, cancel it. What what whatever special abilities that you were gonna give Wolverine, you take Wolverine and put him in Spider-Man 2 and give him the same abilities. But then when it comes to Marvel Ultimate Alliance, you take the same abilities and give it to Wolverine again. So that way he can get up any buildings. Like if he's jumping up a building, he stick his claw in the building and go up and whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, because they're superheroes, they they um they have uh they have uh they have uh, they have uh, special abilities, man. So if there's one company I definitely know for sure that can do this, it's Insomniac Games. But the question is, are they up for the challenge? Or are they just gonna sit there and just keep making the same single player experience games like a like Spider-Man? No knock on Spider-Man, but or Wolverine. But then the whole Marvel Ultimate Alliance slash Marvel MMO is a bigger challenge with more work to do and a lot more to, you know what I'm saying, to uh, I mean to uh, to accomplish. So the question is, you know, can they um, can they accept this challenge, man? Because you know, because the time for uh, the time for talking about a Marvel M MMO is it's over now, man. It's over now. The time for a Marvel MMO, Marvel 
MMO type game now is now based on these consoles that we have and um they you know insomniac is the is the company that can that can really that can really that, that can really do this because when spider-man 2 comes out and then when people start playing it they're gonna be they're gonna be they're gonna be sitting there uh just looking like okay so the the, the environments is the environment is this the, the the detail and graphics and everything is all this and Spider-Man can go where he want to go, do what he want to do, whatever, and get to the highest buildings, whatever he want. So you're, you're you're saying that okay, if Spider-Man can do that, then what about the rest of the Marvel universe, heroes and villains? And that's where the uh, and that's where the real problem comes in, you know, because people are going to be like, okay, where's a where's Marvel Ultimate Alliance? People are going to be looking for Insomniac. To make a Marvel Ultimate Alliance for they're not look they're not looking at no other company. It's Insomniac based on what they did with Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales plus Spider-Man 2. So yeah, when that when that time comes, people gonna be looking it, on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation um PlayStation uh, 6, PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 6. People are gonna be asking about a Marvel MMO. From insomniac they're gonna be asking for it because they're they're gonna use their what they're gonna do they're going they're gonna definitely use spider-man spider-man miles morales and spider-man 2 and if and once they see all three games together then they, they, they're gonna be like okay so if spider-man get get all this freedom of doing what he want to do go where he want to go then what about the marvel universe that's when Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4 is going to really kick into overdrive. People are going to demand it from you, Insomniac Games. You best believe it. Wait till Spider-Man 2 comes out. People are going to be asking for it. Because people are getting really sick and tired of, like, talking about a Marvel MMO. And nobody's doing nothing about it. So if, if there is one company that can definitely do it, it's you, Insomniac Games. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4 made by Insomniac. That's what gamers are looking forward to. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on this on this uh, subject because it's not going to go away anytime soon. <laughs> nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Bored, dark side. Go. Peace.